Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. K from the Arcadia Public Library. Welcome to Toddler Storytime. This is the first video of our spring session and today our theme is going to be ducks. I'm going to read two stories for you today. First one's called Duddle Puck, the Puddle Duck by Karma Wilson. And we'll also read Dilly Duckling by Claire Friedman. Before we read our stories, I have a new hello song for you. It's a really fun one, but we have to practice something before we start, okay? Need you guys to make your hands into fists like this and practice going cha-cha-cha, okay? Can you do that with me? One, two, three, cha-cha-cha. One more time, cha-cha-cha. Okay, good. So our song goes like this. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. How is everyone today? Cha-cha-cha. Can you try that? All right, let's do that one more time. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. How is everyone today? Cha-cha-cha. Good. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. I'm so glad you came today. Cha-cha-cha. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. What a way to start the day. Cha-cha-cha. If we keep singing, hello, good morning. We'll be happy come what may. Cha-cha-cha. Good job. Okay, we'll do that again next time so you can practice it then. So let's go ahead and start with our first book, which I think actually we're going to read Dilly Duckling first. So Dilly Duckling is by Claire Friedman, illustrated by Jane Chapman. She's the illustrator who does the bear snores on and those books. So it's really good illustrations for us today. And I'm reading to you today with permission from Simon and Schuster. One sunshiny day, the duck set off for a family waddle. Lily Dilly was last in the line. Peekaboo, Dilly said to the fish. Hello, she called to the bugs and dragonflies. She seems to be in a really good mood, huh? She's very happy. Keep up, Dilly, Mama Duck called out. But Dilly was busy watching a big blue butterfly. She was waddling after it when suddenly, puff, a gust of wind blew out one of her downy feathers. Uh-oh. Oh, no, gasped Dilly. My feather is flying away. Oh, Dilly raced after the fluffy feather. Stop that feather, she quacked loudly. Whee! The wind blew Dilly's downy feather this way and that way, up in the air and down again. Around and around in circles, Dilly ran dizzily, trying to catch it. Come back, she called to her feather, but it floated farther and farther away. If you check out this book from the library sometime, you can touch Dilly and it's very fuzzy. This is a really nice book, very fuzzy. <laughs> Dilly flopped to the ground in a daze. What am I going to do, she cried. Do about what, asked Spike. My feather, Dilly said with a sigh. It blew away. Was it yellow and fluffy, Spike asked. Yes, cried Dilly excitedly. It drifted down the hill, Spike said. I'll get it. Do you know what kind of animal Spike is? Do you see all those spikes on him? Yeah, I think he's a hedgehog. Spike curled himself into a tight ball. I bet you can do that. Can you curl yourself into a tight ball like Spike? <laughs> he rolled downhill, spinning faster and faster. I'll try to spear your feather on my spikes, he shouted as he whizzed by. Whee! Spike cried. Hooray! Quacked Dilly excitedly. Bump! Spike landed in a hedge. Puff! Up flew Dilly's feather again. Uh-oh. Slowly, Dilly's feather drifted down, 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 until it landed in a field. Dilly and Spike pitter-pattered after it. It's caught on a court stock, squeaked Nibble. I'll get it for you. Who's Nibble? Do you see Nibble? Yeah, Nibble's a mouse. Careful, whispered Dilly. It's a very important feather. Nibble held her breath as she crept through the tall grass. 
Slowly, she climbed the cornstalk. Gently, she stretched out her paw. Uh, achoo! sneezed Nibble as the feather tickled her twitchy nose. Whee! Off Dilly's feather flew. Oh, she almost had it, huh? And the feather is, is soft and fuzzy, too. The wind blew Dilly's feather up, up in the sky and far, far away. Sorry, Dilly, Nibble called. It's gone. Oh, no, quacked Dilly, and she burst into tears. Oh, poor Dilly, said Spike. Don't cry. Nibble and Spike gave little Dilly a cheer-up hug. I'll never see my fluffy feather again, Dilly said sadly. I'm going home to tell my mama. Dilly waved goodbye to her friends. Can you wave goodbye to Dilly? Say bye-bye. Thank you for trying to help me, she called. Mama, Dilly quacked, one of my big fluffy feathers has fallen out. It's lost forever. Silly Dilly, Mama said. Mama Duck said, giving Dilly a big cuddle. All your downy feathers will fall out. Then you'll grow new grown-up feathers, just like mine. Really? Quacked Dilly in surprise. So I'll look just like you? Dilly and Mama joined the ducklings splashing in the river. Look, Dilly cried, there's my feather. So it is, said Mama Duck. I don't need it anymore, do I? Dilly giggled. I'll grow another one. And quacking happily, she dilly-dallied off to play. The end. Okay, before we read another story, I have a song for us to do. Can you put your hands way up high like this for me? All right, it goes like this. Put your hands up high, put your hands down low. Put your hands in the middle and wiggle just so. Put your elbows in the front, put your elbows in the back. Put your elbows in the middle and quack, quack, quack. You wanna try that one more time with me? Okay, put your hands up high. Put your hands up high, put your hands down low. Put your hands in the middle and wiggle just so. Put your elbows in the front, put your elbows in the back. Put your elbows to the side and quack, quack, quack. This is Duddle Puck the Puddle Duck, written by Karma Wilson, illustrated by Marcellus Hall. And I'm reading to you today with permission from Simon and Schuster. Silly Duddle Puck was a funny puddle duck. All the critters said he was a very odd duck. He never ever quacked, but he often liked to cluck. Duddle Puck, what a silly puddle duck. Cluck, cluck. Duckies aren't supposed to say cluck, are they? Duddle, Henry squawked. Duddle, ducks should always quack. A proper puddle duck should really know how to act. Duddle only giggled and threw his head back. He honked, but he never, ever quacked. Look at him, honk, honk, just like a goose. Gilly Goose waddled by and she looked a little shocked. She honked, my dearest Duddle. That is not how ducks should talk. She flapped her wings indignantly and feathers fluttered loose. Remember, you're a duck. You're not a noble goose. But Duddle only smiled, and he did a little jig over to the wallow where he spied a spotted pig. Oink, oink, said Duddle. But the pig just sputtered back. Ducks should never oink. They really ought to quack. Duddle doesn't mind. He likes to say oink, oink, huh? But Duddle didn't quack, as a proper duck should say. Instead, he wandered to the barn and bellowed out a neigh. Hank the horse was stunned. He was taken quite aback. Ducks should never neigh. They really ought to quack, he said. 
Duddle danced and sang, cluck, honk, oink, nay, and everyone was shocked when he added, hip, hip, hooray. Have you ever heard a duck who can say hip, hip, hooray? I don't think I have. Gilly Goose was fluttered, flustered, and she fussed. It's just our luck. This burn braid doesn't know that he is actually a duck. And there he goes. Oink, cluck, honk, nay, hip, hip, hooray. Look at Gilly Goose. How do you think she feels right now? Does she look happy or sad? Or maybe a little bit mad, huh? Henry called a meeting for the critters on the farm. Duddle's quite befuddled, and it's causing me alarm. We have to teach this duck the way a puddle duck should speak. After all, he has a bill. He doesn't have a beak. The animals lined up and hollered, Duddle, please come here. They all together spoke out very slow and very clear. This is how a duck should sound. You've gotten way off track. Then each and every critter quacked and quacked. Now all the other farm animals are quacking. Isn't that silly? Look at them go. Quack, 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 quack. And there's Duddle just listening. I think even the farmer is quacking, huh? That's yeah, silly. Duddle just winked and smiled. Yes, it is true I am a duck. And at times I like to moo or oink or maybe even cluck. But not one of you is a duck. Then Duddle giggled out with glee. And yet you all sound just like ducks to me. <laughs> he, I think they're probably a little embarrassed now, huh? Because they were making duck sounds. Duddle tipped his head and said, I'll do this just for you. Then he roared a mighty, can you say it with me? Say quack really loud. Quack! Uh-oh, but then he add, a doodle doo! <laughs> now he thinks he's a rooster, huh? The end. We have a little finger play for you. We usually say two little blackbirds, but today, since our theme is ducks, we're going to say two little duckies. Can you make your two little duckies with your fingers for me? One here and one here. That's it. Two little duckies sitting on a hill. One named Jack and another named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Quack, 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 quack. Fly away, Jill. Quack, 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 quack. Come back, Jack. Quack, 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 quack. Come back, Jill. Quack, quack, quack. Good. Two little duckies sitting on a cloud. One named Soft. And the other name loud. <laughs> Fly away soft. Shh. Fly away loud. Come back soft. Shh. And come back loud. All right, let's do a couple more verses. Two little duckies sitting on a stick. One name slow. And the other name quick. Fly away slow, really slowly. Okay, really fast. Fly away quick. Come back slow. And come back quick. Good job. One last verse. Two little duckies flying in the sky. One named low. And the other named high. Fly away low. And fly away. Come back low and come back high. For our final today, let's do Five Little Ducks. Do you guys know this song? It goes like this. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Can you do that with your hand? Make a wave. That's it. Mama duck said, quack, 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 quack. Can you guys quack with me with your hands? Quack, 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 quack. Good. But only four little ducks came back. Let's count our ducks, okay? One, two, three, four. That's right, we have four ducks now. All right, let's have our four ducks go out to play. You ready? Four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said, 
quack, 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 quack. But only three little ducks came back. Now we have three. Let's send our three little duckies out to play, okay? Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only two little ducks came back. Mama duck's losing her duckies. I wonder where they're going. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only one little duck came back. Okay, let's send our last ducky out. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said, quack, 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 quack. But none of her five little ducks came back. Uh-oh, wonder where those duckies are, what they're doing. I made Mama Duck sad, huh? Okay, we're gonna say sad Mama Duck this time, okay? Sad Mama Duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama Duck said, quack, 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 quack. And all of her five little duckies came back. Let's count our duckies, okay? Here we go, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, that's our story time for today. Before we go, let's just sing our goodbye song. It's about teddy bear, teddy bear. Teddy bear, teddy bear, hands up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach for the sky. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, give a sigh. <sighs> teddy bear, teddy bear, wave goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for coming. I'll see you next time.